Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for gshelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use moving clouds in your game and make them wrap from one side to the other but without using the wrap scene um, behavior or setting, sorry. Um, a lot of the times people want to um, have their clouds become, leave one side and come back the other but they don't want to use the wrap setting because they don't want everything else in the scene to also wrap from one side to the other. So I'm going to show you how to do clouds up like that um, with a little bit of randomness to it um, and it's pretty simple. So let's get started. I have a scene and I have three like, three clouds in here. It's actually the same cloud, just each one is a different size. And you know, I've put them out you know, roughly where I want them and we're going to go into the cloud and I'm going to say change velocity and um, you don't even need to actually change velocity. Let's just go in and go to motion, linear velocity, um, X and let's set that to 30. Let's see how fast that is. Actually, that's going the wrong way. So let's do minus 30. Minus 30. So we want, I want it to go to the left. And that seems pretty good. Um, yeah, I like that. Okay. So what we want to do is we want the cloud that once it leaves the left hand side, we want to go back to the right hand side. So we're going to create a rule. And the first thing we're going to do is say um, when attribute self position X and we're using X because that's left to right um, Y is up and down and we're going to say is less than um, and we're going to go in here and use the expression editor and we're going to say zero because zero is the far left of the screen and we're going to say minus open bracket self size width divided by 2 close bracket um, and what we're doing is basically saying this so this spot right here on the edge of the scene is 0 and let's say we said um, just when it gets to 0 to move so when when it got to here the center that would be 0 and then you'd see it jump over here but we don't want it to do that until it actually reaches the end so we're taking half of the width that's why we said self uh, self width divided by 2 so we're going to say 0 plus half of this area. So once it gets to here, it's going to move. So we'll go ahead and go back into here. Um, so we have 0 minus self size width divided by 2. And then what we wanted to do is we want to say change attribute. And we're going to change self position x. And again, we're going to open the expression editor. And the other side of the screen is 480. So we're going to move it all the way to the other side, 480. And we're going to say plus open bracket, open bracket. And again, we're going to do self size width divided by 2, close bracket. And now I want it to be a little random every time because I don't want it to look like the same clouds are, you know, going in the same spot. So I'm going to say plus, and then I'm going to use random open bracket and I'm gonna say I don't know what uh, 20 pixels comma uh, 100 pixels so every time it moves from one side to the other it's going to move back but further or closer depending on the randomness and I'm gonna do close bracket close bracket at the end so at the end you should have two close brackets now I'm gonna hit preview uh, actually instead of hitting preview I'm gonna want you to see what's happening here let me go back here something's wrong uh, no, it's fine. Okay. Um, I'm going to hit the play symbol here so you can actually see real time what's happening. So once this cloud gets to the edge of the cloud, it's going to pop back over here and come through again. Same with this one. Once it gets to the end, pop back over here and come through again. And as you notice, it didn't pop right to the edge because of that randomness. It's adding some extra cloud or extra pixels to it. So, you know, it's always going to be random every time it goes from one side to the other. Um, and you can also do random for y, so let's do that too. Let's go, um, let's hit back, and we're going to go in here, and we're going to say change attribute self position y to random, and um, you basically got to judge for yourself. Um, the scenes are 320 high. I want my clouds to be at least. Uh, I don't know, at least 200, 
So we'll go random 200 to 300. So now that's not always going to be in the same uh, Y value either. Actually, let me go back here and just show you it this way. So this one, may, when it comes back, it may not be here. It may be up here now. And there it is there now. It's looking pretty good. Now, I said, um, I probably said it a little too high. So let me go back in here. And uh, random 200. Let's do a random 140. That's roughly about where the other ones start off. So let's try that now. So now that was here. Let's see where it is now. There, now it's up here. That big cloud is now down here. And you can play with the numbers however you like it. Oh, now both are on top of each other. That's nice. So it's not always the same. So it actually looks like, you know, things are changing. And you could even take it one step further. And when you move them back, you can change the size of the clouds. So everything looks so different. You can even change an image of the cloud when it comes back. So, you know, it's constantly going to look different every single time you, you move your clouds over. Um, so it's a really cool effect, and uh, it's really easy to use instead of using the wrap X and Y, so that way not everything in your scene is wrapping. And I hope you enjoy it, and um, thumbs up the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and um, head on over to gshelper.com, and you can download this project file if you like, and uh, have a go with it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.